with Harrison. Hi, that's me. Yes, and you are going to show us, actually, I don't know how you pronounce this, 30 double, double X? 30 XX. Okay, 30 XX, and um, we have been invited by Stride PR, so you can show us about this game, and I've heard it's having a big similarity and a passion regarding X-Men. Uh, Mega Man X, you mean? Uh, sorry, Mega Man yeah. X, exactly, Mega Man X. X-Men a little bit different. <laughs> exactly, exactly, Mega Man X. Yeah, so tell us about the idea in general and how you got the idea to make an action game that is like um, inspired by Mega Man X. I can't speak to that because I, wa I wasn't on the dev team or anything. I can just show you the game, how it works okay. and that. But if you want to comment on that, you'll have to drop Chris yeah. an email or just call him or something. Sure. I mean, what's your personal opinion, perhaps? Well, personally, I think it's a great game. I've been playing since I was um, 13 or 14 in um, 2016 or so. So, yeah, I mean... Um, from there, I remember when I first started playing 20XX, it was, it was, it was an experience, um, a, a good one at that. But it did get stale after a while because um, essentially for the eight levels, you had four areas instead of this game's eight, uh, just with different texturing. And then final two levels were just basically one level with more different texturing. Meanwhile, this one, still 10 levels, but all 10 unique areas. Um, then you've also got, you've got a mid-boss in this one, midway, th midway through, um, as in the name. Um, and then each section, essentially, it's very noticeable when you're in each different section and there are certain level types you can have. But it is unique every time. So, essentially, you start a section, you're going you're gonna to be playing something a little bit new. Um, it's a bit of a roguelike as well, so what you end up with is you'll start a run, just... Get a, just get a load of things and figure out what you're going to do with them. Interesting, I noticed that the option is not a cl classical option menu, but you have the options here in the game, actually. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're, you're playing the demo build. It is the same in the real game. There's a few more options in the real game, uh, but they're a lot more competitive. Uh, so there's, we're not putting them in the demo. <laughs> okay, good. So, um, so what's the best way to continue here? Uh, just play the game. There you go. Okay. All right. So, start. yep. So you're first playing, personally, one of my favorite stages, although I don't like the boss, just because it's hard. Um, but yeah. Ah. So now you've got an option. This is a weapon. So if you choose that, see what it does. Fire off with X. Ah, X. Okay. Ah. Yeah, that's what that'll do. If you pause now, uh, that's not it. Pause here. Uh, so, you can now select your weapon in the cause section. Ah. Right. Uh, so, I'd probably want to try the original uh -huh. sword saber at least. Okay. Um, okay so, I... oh, yeah, you just press start to unpause again. Um, not sure what's happened with the camera. I think, I think you might have shifted this. Yeah. Okay, interesting. So, now you have the choice which one you want to take. Because you, you can swap them out at any time except during a boss fight. I see. As I discovered at one point, panicking <laughs> during a run. Yeah. I mean, you don't want to make the boss fi uh, fights too easy, I guess. Yeah. Um, I will say there is uh, one more control. If you press this button here, you can dash. Mm, oh. Nice. Just, they, it won't deal damage to enemies. It'll deal damage to you. You still have to attack them. Yeah. Uh, there you've got some nuts. Um, they'll be used later on. Uh, for demo purposes, there's always a shop in the boss room. So you'll see that momentarily. You can attack that, by the way. Yeah. Ah. Oh, oh. Okay. Get, just, just jump somewhere. There we go. Um, you can wall jump infinitely. So if you dash jump over to that wall, you can then jump infinitely on it and get up to the top. Oh, okay. So, like... Yeah, if you hold, if you dash and then jump, very quickly. So, what's the best way of doing it? Do you want me to show you? Yeah, yeah. All right, um, just hold up, hold that one moment. Okay. So what you do is, uh -huh. you you get to the back, you then you're gonna dash and then jump quickly, like that. Ah, okay, I see. Yeah. So you can so, you can do that any time. Yeah. 
If you're holding, if you're holding dash and then jump, you'll perform a dash jump. So it's a bit like Batman, where you also in the first game where you also dash. Yeah. The ball. Ah, okay. So. Yeah. So you can jump infinitely on it. So just, so just. It, yeah. I I, see. It's introducing you to the level gimmick here. If you're within them, it gives you an extra jump. Nice. Okay. You you also mentioned um, in the description of the game the fluid controls, and I have to admit they are very. Very direct and acting, very, very fluid and um, fast. Well, I'm glad the, the, the well, I'm glad the description was accurate. Yeah. You can attack that, by the way. Okay. Basically, you can attack most things in the game. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. how you interact. Um, you can't go up there. Um, if you go back a bit. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. So I probably have to go up. Somewhere. Yeah. You'll have to. You'll have to go up here. Oh, it's. Yeah. Ah, got it. Okay, okay. There you go. So let me ask you... Oh, you might want to attack ah, them. Okay. Yeah. So let me ask you... While watching for the bats. <laughs> yeah, it's hard It's hard to game and talk and think at yeah. the same oh. time. Yeah, oh. Ah, right. Yeah, you're doing fine. Well, so... I mean, you, you mentioned a lot of... Uh, Mega Man X similarity and the passion on old action games, but how do you address the uh, new gamers? Um, Is that like, um, like I mean, a re in, in, um, reimagination? Reimagination, right? Um, I think so, and I think you can just attract new people by just being a good and unique game, which this is. As far as yeah, I'm concerned. Yeah, it's good because in the last five years, a lot of developers and people in the game industry always concentrated on pixel graphic. And I'm very, very happy to see that it's not as bulky yeah. as other titles where it comes to the graphic style. I mean, it is a new, it is a new graphic style because um, what the previous game, 20XX, was a lot more... Well, it was a lot less pixelated, uh, put it that way, but yeah. I think with how it does it in this game, it does it to a pretty good... It does the... It does it to an extent that it conveys what it's trying to convey. Right. For, I can't really think of a better expression at the moment. Uh, this is where you really need to know okay. to dash jump. Okay, so that was... Yeah, that that's... Was yeah. Shoulder key. Yep. Mm -hmm. So essentially just be holding it when you jump. So essentially, yeah, you can just keep holding it. Mm, okay, got it, got yeah. it, got it. Mm. There you go. Red Bull gives you wings, and so does High Vault. Ah, you can see I'm more a PC player, not really yeah. an Xbox. Yeah, there's a keyboard there. You can play on keyboard if you want. I don't know if that is making things easier. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Whoa. you are starting to get a bit low on health, so just try and be a bit careful. Oh. Whoa. I think just try and slow down because uh -huh. essentially the moment you're in there, you can just keep jumping. So try and take it a bit. Oh, uh, okay. so just try and take it a little bit slower. Oh, so dash, dash, dash. Okay, here we go yep. again. Yeah, just dash, jump into that. Oh, okay. okay. You've died, but you used your uh, reserve tank. I think that's what it's called anyway. But essentially, if you die again, you're dead. Uh -huh. Runs over. You restart from stage one. Okay. Well, perhaps you can continue playing and I ask you a few questions. Yeah, sure. Because I see you are a much better player than me. <laughs> That's just what you get when you play for a while. Yeah, of course. You're doing this all the time, I guess. <clears throat> so you mentioned the predecessor to that game. So what is in for those people? What improved next to the not so pixelated graphic style? Um, well, Improvements is you've got a lot more org, so this is retained from the last game. This is complete. This is this is um, also retained, but it's a little bit new. This is completely new. Mm -hmm. um, so what that'll do is when you're higher on health, uh, we're not at the minute, so it won't activate. But it'll just shoot boulders at people. It'll, it'll just shoot boulders at enemies. So because you've beaten, well, there weren't mid bosses in the previous game either. But um, essentially now, just gonna get, just gonna get some health. 
So now we've got a um, room where you just want to take as little damage as possible. That was not the right way. I, I don't usually play high vault early on, so I'm not used to the terrain. <laughs> Ah, so but but it feels a bit like a um, like also like a Sonic where you have to know which way you want to go, so you can got you can got stuck in a stage um, if you are going the wrong way. Um, it's, I mean you can get stuck, but it can be, but it's not too difficult to find your way out because it's um, built on segments. The game. Okay. Okay, so essentially, now that I've beaten that, because I took one damage, I can't get the gold, which was zero damage, but I can choose between these two. Which was totally my fault, because I didn't play the good to begin with. No, that, that was me when I entered the section. That's uh, all okay. on me. I took okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So, I'm going to take this. Um, so essentially, repros are um, this thing, which essentially, it's the things following you. So if we keep going now... Um, We've not got the health for it to activate, which is a bit frustrating, but yeah. So now we've got a little bit of a new section. This is, um, I think High Vault is the only section in the game with um, three unique sections. Uh, each one has one before the mid boss, one after, but the generation here is completely unique. Um, it's also dependent on when you enter the level. So for example, if you enter this on level eight, it'd be considerably harder than it is now. Um, let's just let's go over the top. So you can choose to go to the bottom path on this one as well. You can see there's stuff there. Um, I don't want to get attacked by these, so. There's a lot, there's um, unique enemies to every level as well. Um, the only difference is levels nine and 10 will bring back the old enemies, except it's all of them. Oh, that was embarrassing. Yeah, that dodges them. I also like the very detailed backgrounds where there is a lot of things happening. Yeah, it also changes between sections. Like you might yeah. have noticed at the start, it wasn't nearly as active as it is now. Yeah. And it's about to change a bit as well after we do a bit of shopping. Um, I kind of want to double jump. It's quite useful for this. So you're upgraded now, basically. Yeah. Essentially, what I just bought there was a core. Uh, so essentially, you can select these. Um, you won't have 99 core points when you start the game. Usually, players start with 10, mm. but it's 99 for the purposes of the demo. So what that will mean is, uh, this will act as if it were a level higher, and I'll be able to double jump now. Um, but you can pick and choose through the menu what you want to do. Um, as you can see, because we have enough health, that's got eyes now, which means it's active. But I kind of want more health anyway, so we'll get it. And we can double jump. Here's the boss. So how, how big is the game? How many levels and worlds you have, actually? Um, there's 10 levels. Um, so you have um, the first eight, you know, like Robot Master style. And then you've got the final two, which are basically like a Wily Castle, if you want to liken it to Mega Man. Um, <laughs> the ninth, well, stage nine is essentially where it starts getting serious. It brings back every enemy. And then level 10 is um, just absolutely insane um, i won't spoil as too much of that yeah of course don't do if, that if, yeah. if you get good if you get good enough at the game it is very much worth it to go that far i mean it's too loud here to hear it but how about the music i mean mega man x was known for the good music i mean the mega man franchise in general yeah um it's absolutely as far as i'm concerned music wise it is absolutely fantastic um, city fires returns for 30xx um, and does it and does a bit of a different style for it, but does mm -hmm. a damn good job. But you can probably notice the victory theme is based on the level. Actually, probably best to just do another level and then we'll see. Okay. So if you notice the music, and I quite like this one. I also think the boss is just a vibe. It's just a mood, so you'll see why <laughs> when we reach it. So here's our new mechanic for this level. The this section. So we just float between, we can dash in there. And yeah, so that's this level's, one of this level's unique mechanics. Oh, crap. Just got blown up by a mole and a boulder. Because that makes sense. Okay, now this guy. This guy's a little bit unique. Um, either he'll give you a challenge for the entire level right at the start, 
or he'll appear midway through and ask you to fight him. Because, because we're being recorded here, we're going to fight him. Okay. Why not? The, um, the dialogue also reminds me a bit of the old way of handling dialogues yeah. in retro gaming. Yeah. Oh, oh crap, it's double damage. I'm in trouble. Wait, now I should be fine. Awesome. Oh, wait, I've got a double jump. I'm not good at fighting this guy. Ah, no worries, no worries. Oh crap, I'm one hit. Well, died just in time. <laughs> <laughs> that totally wasn't absolutely terrifying. Would have been quite embarrassing if I died in the demo mode live on camera while trying to demonstrate the game. Ah, no problem at all. Just be like, we'll cut that bit. Uh, here's the mid-boss. They can be red and purple, this one, so... So there's a lot of randomness in the game, as I said, uh, sometimes. Yeah. It is a it is a it is a roguelike. Um, that's a, it's a platformer roguelike, effectively. So each experience is unique, but also there are the familiar elements like the bosses. Right. The game doesn't totally change all of a sudden. Yeah. It doesn't change all of a sudden, but the level order is random, but the difficulty stays somewhat the same. So, for example, you could fight the bo you could fight the previous boss on level eight, and it would be much harder. Right. Yeah, because it increased the difficulty because you're on a later level. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's both in terms of the level design and just, you know, tougher enemies. Um, you'll probably see this in that level three if we have time to make it there. Okay. I should probably explain what's going on here. So essentially, we've entered a challenge where it'll give us three waves of enemies. Um, and we have to kill them, taking as little damage as possible. If we take less than if we take less than three damage, we get all three options. It's like that safe room earlier where we lost an option because we took damage. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this time we get all three. Wow. So in this one, new new weapon, upgraded weapon, or a bit of a bonus for uh, full health. I think let's see the new weapon. Right. Have. Yep. We've. Got it now. So this is basically just a spear. Little bit of a shortcut here. Oh, I meant to dash through that. All right. So um, tell us, what platforms is the game already released in? It's currently only on Steam, though we're getting a, though we should be getting a Switch release quite soon because it's in Nintendo's hands, uh, but it's not currently available. So we're looking at quite soon, hopefully. Awesome very much hopefully there. Awesome. I really like it. I really see the differences at Mega Man X and um, yeah. I see the passion behind the game and what you're doing there. And as I said earlier, I, I really like that you um, don't totally only sell it on the as pixelated as possible graphics because that is yeah. what a lot of people are doing. And uh, thanks for the demonstration as well. Uh, no worries. We're just about to face the second boss actually. Awesome. Um, actually, no, let's heal. I don't like being on 90. All right, cool. So, at the start of the level, I said that this boss was a mood. You'll see what I mean now. Best portrait in the game, in my opinion. Ah. All right, now it just... Okay, I didn't expect it to die this fast, but I guess we can... Well, I guess that's a roguelike. Yeah, well... So suddenly, you d sometimes you just get the right upgrades and it murders the bosses. But yeah, um, I should probably clarify, the, um, the cubes that we just got there were uh, Memoria, which in a, regular, in a regular game, if you were to die and go back to the lobby, you could purchase permanent upgrades for your character. So usually you start on 8 health, it's on 20 for the demo because we don't want people dying too fast. Um, but you can get it up to 16 with Memoria. Mm -hmm. um, the same goes for energy, you can go from 80 to 160. And you can get, you can get other things like um, 
the option to exclude some levels from being first or oh, make okay. or make sure some levels come first. Mm. So, so the ones you like more, you can get earlier access to. Yeah. So essential. So we can keep going, but also this is just a prompt for if there's any people watching. Awesome. I guess our space is almost running out anyway.